Hey, hey, so this is a follow-up video. Uh, I went and crafted my Zors, I've been having fun playing with them, and I just wanted to show off a couple options that you have. Um, I'll stick with Draco Manic Bombards, because they have more raw HP than the Gokstad officers. So, first up is my Mewan. I've built it... Oh, I shouldn't have full stripped. First up is my Mewan. I built it for raw damage, so it's using Vagit 2 Jai for crit chance. Uh, and I really don't care about status. So, let's see what sort of hits we can get. 136, about 130k. Don't know why that was so much lower. Okay. Must be stealth damage shenanigans. So yeah, 2765. 270k. Uh, if I run, if I proc lethal levitation, I can see up around 420k. Uh, that's because my lethal levitation hasn't been leveled up yet. Uh, but you would expect to see maybe 700k red crits with a fully built lethal levitation. Um, and I'll just show the mods to confirm. Uh, when I do the comparison with the Ulta, uh, I've got basically the same build on both. So this this has a little less crit damage, you know, five percent less crit damage, and some heavy stuff, but you know, basically basically the same. Uh, core damage mods, so double glad, primed fever, prime pressure, and then we'll go see how much damage the the ulta does. So I built the ulta with Aquana Two Jai for status chance, so it's pure status chance, very low crit chance, uh, and we should see that the tox procs are either about the same or a little bit stronger. Uh, and keep in mind, I'm also not running faction damage. So if we factor in faction damage, then the Ulta per swing is actually a lot stronger. Uh, it just takes <laughs> takes time for the damage to actually occur. Okay, yeah. 150k. Ooh, jeez, that's a lot of damage. Must be stealth multiplier shenanigans again. So yeah, uh... So that's 72k. Yeah, like, pretty much approximately the same amount of damage. Actually, a little bit stronger. Yeah, yeah. 72k again. 72k. Yada yada. Uh, let's see what the tox procs are like. Yeah, so... 180k? AoE? And raw damage... About 210k. So I think the I think the blasts are a little bit weaker. Um, the advantage of the ulta is because it's a status weapon. Uh, obviously, you can run faction damage, but you can also convert it into a slash monster uh, if you don't have armor strip. And for some reason, you want to use a sword. I don't know why you'd want to use a sword, but you know, the skin's pretty sick, maybe you want to use it on different frames, or you really like swords, or you have a sword skin, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so you have two options, both both good. Both approximately the same level of power. Uh, I did a test run earlier, I did 40 minutes in Annie with the Mewan. Uh, very comfy, very powerful, very fun just one-shotting an entire enemy wave. So yeah, give these two a spin, they're both viable. Uh, and it's really just down to personal preference. Do you want to delete things in one hit? Or do you want to have high scaling damage? Wow. Yeah. And that's the end of that. Oh, one last consideration. Um, let's also check my lethal levitation. Um, I tested the, the blast damage on Contagion. And it doesn't scale off, so I currently get 160% percent 
Yeah. I tested the blast damage on Contagion, and it does not scale with Condi Overload. So you would need to source some form of raw damage. So either you can use Lethal Levitation here, uh, you could use an Arcane. But if you do go the Condi Overload, you do get much better single target damage. Yeah, I don't have room for it. But yeah, I'd need to sink another... Probably another couple former to finish this build. So, yeah. Zords. Not a bad way of having nice swords. <laughs>